A number of recent deadly crashes in the Tucson Metro. Many people are focusing on how to make roads safer, specifically at intersections with red light obedience. 13 News reporter Sean Mahoney joining us live with more on what some are calling a growing problem in southern Arizona. Sean. Well, according, according to the Tucson Police Department's a violation a database, uh, nearly 3,000 incidents of people running red lights or yield signs happened in 2022 and 2023, nearly double what it was in 2019, and already 2,100 violations this year with still two months to go. Add that to the fact that nearly 20% of all deadly crashes involve running red lights like the one you see behind me and has many people asking questions of what is being done to curb these statistics. Just about every day, especially because I drive a semi truck, so uh, I'm usually waiting at the lights for a long time and I will usually see during, during rush hour, everybody, everybody just, just driving crazy. Drivers running red lights have become common occurrences for Tucson motorists. Recent data from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration shows Arizona with the fourth highest rate of deadly crashes involving red light runners. A lot of times uh, people are, are, it's because of inattention uh, that, that they're blasting through it. The majority of crashes out there are from inattention and, and distraction. So those are kind of the things that we try to talk to people about. The National Safety Council says they have seen a growing problem too, working with the MVD on driver education. They have had over 3,000 referrals per month with a big chunk due to red light violations. We manage that program. Uh, we see almost 35,000 referrals into this program just in Arizona alone. TPD and PCSD have enforcement to help curb these violations like blue light cameras and TPD's traffic watch program. But people like Murray say red light cameras are the way to go. We do know that the intersections where this fo for photo enforcement is, red light cameras, if you will, uh, that we see as much as, as a 30% reduction uh, at those intersections uh, for crashes and injuries and deaths. Phoenix's city council just moved forward on a reinstallation of red light cameras, something Tucson has done away with for more than a decade. Now it has Southern Arizonans wondering if they should be brought back. Yeah, I think it's worth it. I think it, it would save lives. At least people would think twice before they do these things because they'd be held accountable. That decision would ultimately come down to a vote, but Murray says the most important thing to focus on is education. Well, our goal is in, is education. Uh, we try to get as many people as possible uh, into driver education. Now, in January, Arizona Senate committee shot down a proposed ballot measure that would actually have banned the use of red light cameras in the state with the Senate committee citing that it should be up to local jurisdictions. So no ballot measure on it for this year's election. And it is left up to those local jurisdictions like the Tucson City Council, which would be the one to take up this issue. But as of now, we have heard no word on this issue being taken up. We'll make sure to update you if we learn more. Reporting live in Marana, Sean Mahoney, 13 News.